They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Do, do, do you have it? Do, 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 do you have it? Welcome to the Extreme Arena. This is Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids. Let's meet today's players from Portugal wearing the In the paralyzing purple, it's Mayelan Panther Noriega! The World Championship. It takes a dream to go for it, talent to get near it, and most of all, it takes guts to win it. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick up our World Championship games, let's go to our referee, Moore Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo! Hey Mike, here's a look at the standings. A win today by Mexico or the UK will drastically affect the race for number one while Portugal needs a goal to stay in the race. Back to you, Mike. All right, and first our event, you want to experience the thrill of skydiving while combining it with a little dodgeball? Well, in Dodge It, you get the chance because dodgeballs are going to be flying at your head from all different angles while you are plummeting towards the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, no playground in the world has dodgeball like the Extreme Arena. Trust me, let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, each player will have 60 seconds to dodge balls thrown by the other two players. The player with the most hits on opposing members will win. On your mark, get set. All right, and so as those balls come bouncing down from the sky, our players have to grab onto those dodgeballs and try to hit the other players. Oh, right off the head. Adam got smacked in the head on that one. Good thing he had a helmet on. This is one of the games where we combine offense and defense. Things to think about in this game. Body control, toughness, and accuracy. Oh, boom! Adam's taking another one right off the face mask. So our players just scrambling for those balls. And then they got to hold on to it and have good aim while they knock the other players down. You see the balls just flying down from the air. And you got to be tough because once you get hit, you got to have the energy and the stamina to grab onto another one and score off the other players. So as time runs out, you see them hanging from those cords, trying to get a good bounce towards the center so they can grab onto one and continue to hit each other. But it looks like they've run out of balls right there. We'll go to Mo for the official results, Mo. In first place was Anna making six hits and tied in second place making three hits each, Adam and Mayan. Our players play four events plus the crag. They need a lot of endurance and they gotta play offense and defense. You see Adam getting pegged off the head, but then he scores one of his three. Then he gets pegged again. And the win went to Magic Martinch. Pulling this dodgeball out of her hat. Boom, scoring right there. She got six, she got first place. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Mike, first place in our event is worth 300 points. That goes to Anna from Portugal. And tied in second place with 200 points each, Adam from the UK and Mayalan from Mexico. And it's very simple. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And speaking of winners, we're going to meet a Portuguese power who is a proven prime time player, a Magic Martins. Spill your guts. I'm Anna Martins from Lisbon, Portugal. My favorite sports are soccer and swimming. Swimming's great because it's good for your body. After I train, I like hanging out with my friends and going to the movies. But most of the time, I play on my computer. To prepare for Global Guts competition, I relax and do some gymnastics. Well, people, guts have been spilt, but right now the Extreme Arena has been transformed into a cataclysmic world for our post-nuclear race, Mad Max. Our global guts athletes got a great challenge here in front of them. They're going to start on the ramp and come ripping down the ramp and then making a turn to jet through the junkyard. After the junkyard, they are then going to be jamming over those jumps right there and making another turn as they come to power pass pot 
whole pass. Making the final turn, they're gonna have to kick up the speed to destroy that dead end and cross the finish line to end the race. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will race around the track, making sure to go through each obstacle. Time penalties are assessed for infractions. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Well, up first is Anna. She is in first place, and she got a decent start. Not a very quick start, but a good start as she makes the turn. Now, she, you see her hesitate on the pedals right there and not really driving herself over those bumps. She's coming into pothole pass, and she's going to really have to kick up the speed because she sets the pace that our other two players are going to try to beat. And coming through dead end, the clock will stop. And we will go to Mo and get the official result. Mo. Anna clocked in at 25.7 seconds. Okay, so here's a chance for our other players to catch up to Anna, who is in first place. And Adam the Flash Young looks to be ready. On your mark, get set. All right, and so with that whistle, Adam is going to have to attack this course, and he's got good speed. Good control. You see the determination in this man's eyes as he goes into these jumps, and no problem. You see his arms holding on and shifting his weight, so he goes through pothole pass. We got a first place finish if this is official. Look at that man coming over. Move. Adam clocked in at 19.1 seconds officially. All right. Yeah, flash. And we will see right now if Maya Len can beat that time. On your mark, get set. From Mexico, the nickname Panther. The Panther's going to scratch and claw her way through this Mad Max Extreme turf, getting over the jumps, but she can't dilly dally. She's going to have to really pick up the speed. We talked about speed. She's hesitant, coming across. She's not going to beat the time to beat. She's fighting for second place points right now, coming across the finish line. Let's go to Mo for the official result. Mo. Mahia Lane clocked in at 23.9 seconds, which puts Adam in first place, Mahia Lane in second place, and Anna in third place. A very close competition so far. And to win the Glowing Rock, you got to take a pit stop through Mad Max. Your maximum energy has got to be taken to the turf. And right here, a little bit conservative, was the Panther in purple as she went through Pothole Pass. But for Adam Young, stirring up guts is old hat. He did not pop a flight from England to go home disappointed, blowing through the dead end. 300 points for A-Y. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. Well, now Adam from the UK is in the lead with 500 points. And tied in second place with 400 points each, Anna from Portugal and Maria Lane from Mexico. All right, folks, we got to clean this place up because, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back. We got two down, two to go. Invisible folks, we got peak to peak. You come back, a lot more good. Welcome back to Global Guts, and we're going to return to our competition in just a minute. But right now, we are going to meet a transatlantic terror who's taken aim at a world title. His name is the Terminator. Hey, Adam Young, time to spill your guts. Hi, my name's Adam Young. I'm from Leicester, England. One of the best things about being here on Global Guts is meeting other people from around the world. My favorite sports: football, swimming, and I love karate. Karate teaches me discipline, and I enjoy it. it. Just happens to be I'm a black belt. My strategy to win is really simple. I'm just going to relax and chill out. Well, folks, we're going across the water. We don't need any boats because we're going to be playing invisible boats. And all we need in this event is some harnesses, some paddles, three very tough kids. Not hard to come by here at Global Guts. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will paddle across the pool and back. They must touch the end of the pool to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Well, her name is Anna. Her nickname is Magic. And it ain't magic, folks. We got rid of that. Paddle. The Magic doing a little Houdini move across that pool. Now, in this event, fastest time wins, and the push-off is extremely important, as you see her getting the push-off right there. Pushing off, 
rhythm and leg strength. You see her digging into that water, trying to power, her, power herself through the pool. She's got to use those legs to kick through. Across with the touch, there is the finish. And we will go to Mo and find out what Magic's official time was. Mo. Anna clocked in at 29.7. Adam the Flash is his nickname, Young. He's our leader with 500 points, looks to be ready. On your mark, get set. We fire up those jets and look at this man. Yeah, the Flash, setting up, a flashing, lighthouse, navigating, this nautical nightmare. Look at this man, the boats are invisible. But this, this man's putting on a little aquatic flash dance coming from the gut. Look at the determination and with the touch, the clock will stop. We will go to Mo and find out the Flash's official time, Mo. Adam clocked in at 24.7 seconds. We will see the Panther from Mexico get into her harness and see if she can get first place points. On your mark, get set. All right, folks, well, with that whistle, she is off in a very good push-off. I talked about the smart moves, pushing off, getting into a rhythm, and then leg strength. And right here, she is digging deep into the water with the paddle, but she's a slight hesitation on the turnoff there. She's going to have to really hustle. She's in the middle of the guts ocean right now. She's going to have to kick it with the stretch. Looks to be going for second place points now. That was very, very close. And with the reach, the clock will stop. We'll have to find out the official time from Mo. Mo! Mahjalein clocked in at 25.2 seconds, which puts Adam in first place, Mahjalein in second place, and Anna in third place. Well, most cats take to H2O like an extra unwanted hole in the head, but this panther likes to play, and she was right in this water, digging all the way to the end, but exhausted at the final finish. A little less leg strength. And right now we'll go to Mo and check out our leaderboard now. Mo. Adam from the UK remains in the lead with 800 points. In second place with 600 points is Mahjalein from Mexico. And in third place with 500 points, Anna from Portugal. Oh yeah, a little global harmony going on right here at Global Guts. And what does it take to become one of the best athletes in all of Mexico? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, Panther, Noriega, spill your guts. Hola, me llamo Hi, I'm Maya Lynn Noriega from Mexico City. I love the water. My favorite sports are swimming and sailing because they help you become a complete athlete. My ultimate goal is to swim in the Olympics. Coming to Global Guts means a lot to me because many try it out, but I was chosen. I'm going to win Global Guts because I'm well trained and dedicated. You want to experience a thrill of jumping across the Alps and peak to peak, you'll take that leap. Our player is going to be going sky high and jumping over some serious rad cool ridges in our aerial mountainous assault. Check this one out right after the rules from Mo. Mike, our players must cross the mountain range making sure to hop on each peak. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first is magic. And do you believe in magic wall, well, folks? The entire country of Portugal does. She is one of the top 12 that took the trip to represent the Portuguese at peak to peak and powering her way to a finish. That's going to be a tough time to beat, people. Let's go to Mo. Check out the time. Mo. Anna clocked in at 16.7 seconds. Stepping up next will be our leader, Adam the Flash Young. And he looks to be ready. On your mark, get set. All right. And so, the Flash are going to be lighting his flint. Whoa, they don't call him Flash for nothing. This could turn out to be one of the fastest peak to peaks I've ever seen, people. <laughs> yeah. Mo, what was that time? Adam clocked in at 12.7 seconds. And it looks like Mexico's Panther is up ready to take on peak to peak. On your mark. Get set. So, 12.7 will be the time to be. And the Panther setting off on peak to peak. She's got good time so far, but she's really going to have to hustle it back, showing you just how fast the flash set the clock. And continuing for second place points, she makes it across 
We'll go to Mo and find out the Panthers' official time. Mo. Mahialane clocked in at 16 seconds, which puts Adam in first place, Mahialane in second place, and Anna in third place. And Anna set off first. She had good form, good balance, moving forward, but she was not aggressive enough to take first place. It went to this man. There is an inner echo in this man's head that goes faster, faster. I did not come from England to vacation. I came to win. It's a great pivot for him. We had a little discussion yesterday during practice as we got a little intense. Take a look at this. Adam, you were one of 1,500 kids who tried out in the entire United Kingdom to come and compete here on Global Guts. What was the qualifying tryout like? Well, it was uh, Salt Course that came out in the schools first. And then they picked 24 kids out of all the schools they went to to get down to London. And then in London we just did uh, water skills and basketball and football skills and skating and fitness. So some intense competition and four events are down. Let's check out the leaderboard. Mo. Here it is, Mike. Adam from the UK is in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place is Mahialene from Mexico with 800 points. In third place, Anna from Portugal with 600 points. Well, folks, you see this peak? It's big, but it's a molehill. Go back to this, baby. That's the crack. They climb in a moment. Stick around. Welcome back to Global Gossip Bank. You want worldwide drama? I'll give it to you right here because we're at our last event and things are just getting heated up. The crag, where well, the points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second, a 725 for first. Let's go to Mo. Mo. After four events, Mike, Adam from the UK is in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place is Magdalene from Mexico with 800 points. In third place, Anna from Portugal with 600 points. And so that is where they stand. Now let's take a look at how they got there because I have a story to tell you and it's a story about guts taking it right off the head. That was Adam. But he went back. He was knocking a few right there. But first place, yeah, it went to blue right there. That's Anna taking it. We go into Mad Max and you gotta have control to get around these bumps. The Flash, Adam Young, control and determination drove him through pothole, pass, had balance and strength. And a little shot of the Panther walking through the dead end. Crossing the finish line. That was just event number two because we go into invisible boat with the push off right there was Anna trying to dig through the water and hold on. But again, first place went to Adam the Flash. Determination should be his new nickname because look at this man. Guts incarnate. The insistence of concentration, going back to peak to peak. The competition is about to really heat up, ladies and gentlemen, because now we're at the crag. First it was the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag. Now the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give him a mobo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around this great globe, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. It's time to get it started. Kick it off, Bo! On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, the venomous vapors blasting off against our players as they try to make it through Boulder Canyon. They're then climbing up through the snow and listen to this super aggro crag roar. 
to find your way through the smoke and snow. The rocks come tumbling down, but it looks like the Flash is in the lead. He's at the ice wall. He came from England to play. He'll lock in. Arms raised at the top. We're talking about the silver on the line next. Lock it in after that. In purple, the Panther and Magic Anna trying to make it past the ice wall. She will lock in in third, but there's a shot of our winner, the Flash. Make it. No Flash in the hand. He is the crag winner. Let's go to Mo for the official results. Mo. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Adam from the UK. In second place, Mahialene from Mexico. In third place, Anna from Portugal. <laughs> So there it is. Well, folks, if you want to have a date with a glowing piece of our radical rock, you got to drive along the highway. It takes a pit stop over the crag. That was Adam the Flash getting to the top of the crag and raising his arms in victory. He, the winner of the crag. And we're going to have to check out our final leaderboard standings. Bo! Well, here we are, Mike. The Super Agro Crag certainly deciding it today. In third place, Anna from Portugal, 975 points. In second place, Mayalen from Mexico, 1,350 points. Our winner today, Adam from the UK, 1,825 points. So there it is, folks. Another global guts competition. With 975 points all the way from Portugal, Anna will be receiving the bronze medal. With 1,350 points, Mylan, all the way from Mexico, taking back to Mexico a silver medal. But folks, our winner today, winner of three of four events, and winner of the Super Agro Crag, this young man, Adam Young, with driving determination, will take home the gold medal and a glowing piece of our Super Agro Crag to take back to the United Kingdom. And right now, our three Global Guts athletes will take a well-deserved victory lap around the Extreme Arena with their country's flags wrapped around them as their coaches. They're very proud coaches, and we are very proud of our Global Guts athletes. The Extreme Arena showing their appreciation. The three of the elite, three of the best, here at Global Guts. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids, they got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.